Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the programming assignments for week 3 of the Joy of Computing using Python course. So friends, please watch the video till the end and also clearly note this program when I show you on the notepad because here indentation is very important so you can make some mistakes so just carefully observe this and type exactly what I have shown so I have also made the quiz assessment so you can also check that and uh, note the answers so let's see the first question code the question is uh, we have to take a input input n as an integer right and write a program to display right angle triangle with n rows and n columns like this so here the input is 5 so we have 5 rows uh, with uh, 1 star increasing for each row here one, first row 1 star only there and for second row 2 stars and, and until 5th row 5 stars so a, a right angle triangle is formed here so let's see the code for first question so friends this is the code uh, here the print statement should be uh, in a line with the for loop in the same line of the for loop here this print statement should be within this for loop here give space for the star double quotations star and a space and uh, complete the double quotation this is asterisk multiplication of i and the same here also give some space for uh, star at the end between in between these double quotations so carefully write this code i am going to copy this here and paste it here i will zoom this for you once again so friends this is the code carefully observe that so I am zooming back so let's see whether it compiles or not by clicking on compile and run button here we can test public test cases so if you see this public test cases 4 by 4 passed so here you get exactly the answers so passed 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 and also passed so let's test the private test cases by using submit button these hidden test cases uh, also showing that the private test case also shows that it is passed so our solution is 100% correct so let's move to the next programming assignment so this is uh, programming assignment 2 of week 3 so the question is write a program to take input n and print Fibonacci series till n terms so I will show you the second code now carefully observe that this is somewhat bigger than the first one and biggest of all the three codes I will show you so friends this is the code so carefully observe this and carefully note down this this is the program I will copy this so just uh, take screenshot or pause the video here and carefully type it in, on the compiler you will get it right so I will paste it here and again zoom this for you so friends this is the code here the print statement should be in, a, in the same line of the while loop and this print, print statement should be within the for loop uh, while loop so carefully write this and this print statement should be within the if if condition so this is the code I am zooming back so let's see what will happen so here public test cases 4 by 4 passed status is showing passed and let's check the private test cases by clicking on submit button so you can see 4 private test cases are also passed 
so our solution is 100% correct let's move on to the final programming third assessment third question so here take base b and hide h as an input write a program to print a parallelogram here if you see first input is 8 second input is 4 it means a uh, first input should be that many stars as possible in each row here every row has 8 stars that is the first input and the number of rows is the second input here we gave 4 so we have 4, uh, four rows of input that is 8 stars for each row like that it squared a, uh, it formed a square. Here, square is also a parallelogram, like that. So let's see the third code. This for loop, and this print statement is within this for loop. So I'm going to copy this. Carefully note this. I will show you on the compiler interface. So I'm going to paste it here. I will zoom this again for you, for your sake. So this is the code. Carefully note this down. You can pass it here and write this carefully or you can do parallelly. I am zooming back again. So let's see the compile and run button. So friends, if you see this, the public test cases 4 by 4 passed. The status is showing uh, output. Let's check the private test cases whether they are passed or not. So if you see this, four private test cases, here the private test cases are also passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So friends, these are the programming solutions for the assignment uh, for week 3. And I have also uploaded the quiz assessment. Once take a look at that and hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. I will try to reply for the valid queries. Uh, if you feel this video helpful, Please uh, like this video, subscribe our channel and share this video to your friends. Uh, so for further weekly videos and also other course videos, uh, please keep supporting our channel. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.